This next chapter is going to be dealing with Dreamweaver templates. Dreamweaver templates are a really useful and great time-saving feature that you can work with inside of a Dreamweaver environment. To begin with, let's create a new site. I've got a new chapter for you, so we're going to say new site. And in our site management window, let's call this chapter 8. In the local site folder, I'm going to ask you to point to the source files that we've been working with, go to chapter 8, and you'll see a start page. Essentially, this start page is exactly the same as where we left off in the last video. So we're just building upon what we've done up to this point. If you click Save, we now happen to see that the Chapter 8 Start folder looks exactly as it did before. The index page, I'll open it up, and in Live View you can see, yep, that's our index page. I'll close it because we're not building a template from that. And you might remember that we created a bunch of pages in the previous video, most of which are still blank, but one of which we actually took the time to build. So here it is, Download. And if you view that in Live View, you can see exactly where we left off in the last video. Perfect. Now this one, after doing all of the work that we needed to do to make it look the way it does, I also mentioned that we're going to be using this pretty much as the main design for all of our subsequent pages. So the video, description, support, and contact page will be set up as a two-column layout with one column here in white and the other column with different elements on that side. But there are some places that are not going to change at all. The header is always going to be the same on all pages. The navigation does not change. And of course, the footer is going to stay the same as well. So at this point, we want to use this as our template for all of our subsequent pages. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, let's make sure that this page is, in fact, save. And it is. So I'm going to turn off Live View. And once we've got that turned off, we go to the File menu, and we'll say Save as Template. At this point, the Save as Template window opens up. It's saying, OK, this is in Site Chapter 8, the one that we just defined. There are no existing templates to work with, and that's fine. And here where it says Save as Download, well, it's giving me this name specifically because this is the page that I am, in fact, saving, the download page. However, what we want to be doing is changing this name to something like sub-pages. Now, I change the name because, remember, we don't want it to be specifically a download page. This is going to be the generic template that we'll be using on all of our pages. So I'll just call it sub-pages. So once we click Save, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to update the links. And we'll say, yes, please update those links. Now let's look at some of the differences. Well, first of all, this page does not say download.html anymore. If you go up to the top, you'll see that it is now called subpages.dwt. And that extension, DWT, stands for Dreamweaver Template. If you were to open up your icons here on the side, I'm just going to collapse my CSS styles for a second, and let's examine what's going on inside of the Chapter 8 definition. Remember, this is the start file. And if you look, you'll see, yeah, there's my index page, which is the landing, and that's fine. It looks different from all the other ones, so we're not making a template out of that. But look what it has also added for you. There is a page here called or rather, there's a folder called Templates. And inside of that folder, there's something called Subpages DWT. So that's where this page is found. That's where it's stored, and that's where we're going to be working from. Let's take a look in the code view. It's not really much different than what we saw a second ago. It looks exactly the way it does originally. But as I mentioned to you, there are a number of areas on this page that we want to make editable so that when we create pages from this template, it will only be able to change the spots where we have defined. So in order to do that, what I need you to do is to select an element. So in this case, I am selecting this particular 
article with the ID of main. If you were to go into your code view, you would see article main all the way to the closing article highlighted. And remember, you can do that yourself just by coming here, clicking on this, and to double check. Just make sure that this is the area that you are defining. Make sure that you've selected article main. Once you've done that, let's go to the insert menu up at the top. And when we're in the insert menu, we go to the template objects, and we are going to say editable region. There is a shortcut with that as well, but we'll just do it from the menu. So I click editable region. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to name that region. Well, since this has an ID of main, it's the main article, let's just call it that as well. We'll call it main. And we'll click OK. As soon as you do that, take a look. Now there's this little blue tab that's right here. Now don't worry, once you're in live view, that goes away, of course. But when you're just in design view, you can actually see that there's an area here called main. If you look in the code view, there's really not much else that we do see, except there's a comment here that says template begin editable region with the name of main. And then there's another comment, HTML, that says template end editable. Very good. All right, now another thing that I want to be doing is also defining this area on the side, the aside area, as an editable region as well because from page to page I want to be able to change the content in here change the picture change the divs that are in here and we'll be creating different ones on different pages so select the area that we have right here click on a side make sure that that is checked we don't want to accidentally select something else you could even double check by going in your code view and checking out yeah a side to a side is selected good so now we'll go to Insert, Template Objects, and we'll make this another editable region. Since it's the Aside, that's exactly the name that I will give it, Aside. Perfect. So now that we've got these regions defined, what we're going to be doing is building up a number of pages, all the other ones that we have here, based on this particular template. So I'm going to ask you to say File Save. You could even say Save All in case you've made any changes to the CSS or anything else. And when we come back in the next video, we'll begin to build pages based on this particular template.